Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, this is video number three on this. I know yesterday I cut the owl. It didn't cut out exactly like I thought it would, right? Because it was still too delicate. This thing was too intricate. I think with HTV, like any other project, you also need to determine like how intricate the project is, what the material is going to be. And this is not, hold on, let me see if it will. Okay, I'll readjust in a second. So if you remember my last video, we pulled this apart, right? And it almost worked. There are some pieces that are still sticking. You can kind of see that. Um, let me put it against this to see if you can see it better. Okay. Um, but you can see the size, right? So this is the back of my hooded sweatshirt. So this I ended up using a 12 by 24 piece of um, foil HTV. I mean, look at... It's so beautiful. I think it, the color is coffee or something like that. It's this bronze shimmer, which I just cannot wait to put on this hoodie. I just, I, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> so this was the one that I did yesterday. I love this color, but it didn't cut well enough. Some pieces were too intricate, so it got a little messed up. You can see it's still beautiful and it still got 80% of it was good, but enough of it was not good. So that's why I recut it bigger on a different type of, uh, you know, that I knew I could get on the back of my hooded sweatshirt and it would look amazing. So I wanted to show you what my green mat looks like. I mean, look at this. You're still going to like in this case, kind of like you would with cardstock, you're still going to have some pieces that stick there that didn't stick onto the green mat, right? So like for instance here, do you see this little guy right here? All he needs is just a little bit more like extra prodding and you can just either, um, you can just pull it out. So you can see that's now gone and it's a little bit shimmery, you can't see. Okay, there's another piece right here, right? You see that in the camera. So I'm gonna just lift this up. It's just barely hanging on. So see, I'm gonna pull it off. So there are a few pieces like that, but I would say for the most part, almost the whole thing stayed on the green mat. So I'm gonna show you the green mat right now. Look at this. So everything that stayed on here, you would have had to weed by hand, right? We know from yesterday that my red owl that took over an hour to cut this took me one hour to weed and you can see i'm not done right i still have the majority of the face <laughs> not to mention this section right here that just i was not interested so anyway all of that is here now if you remember me talking there are some things that we lose when everything when your whole mandala is not all connected there were a few parts that were not connected and i'll show you right now it's these two little circles they weren't connected to anything i can easily pop them out and put them here right so once we lay it down i could do that i could also so we're missing these two circles here and then we're missing each one of the circles inside this piece but i'm going to show you this right now and i'm going to zoom in and i'll point them out to you and then I'll also show you the design space so that you can see why that I'm I feel like I'm telling the truth <laughs> I always try to right like that's my thing is I'm gonna give it to you straight whether or not I like a product and all that stuff so all right I just wanted to make sure okay so you see like in this design I'm gonna zoom in a little whoops wrong camera I'm gonna zoom in. So in the original design, in each one of these spaces is a little circle because the circle's not attached to anything. When we went to weed it, it all just fell out, right? Uh, what is this? So weird that this one doesn't have like a matching one on this side. It is attached. You know, we're gonna look at the design space right now. Um, the other part that's missing and i'll show you is right here these two circles um they have a little cir smaller circle on the inside 
I don't think it's necessary for this design because we have lots of circles here that don't have many circles inside them, right? Here, here, all these up here, and then these right here. So like even looking at this right now, to me, it doesn't look empty. It looks like it's okay. So let me show you what the design space image actually looks like so that you can see. So give me a second, I'll make this smaller so you can see my design space. Okay, so here is the owl. Give me a second, let me zoom in. So you can see these are the two circles that I was talking about. Oh, no, hold on, hold on. <sighs> there we go, the two circles right here and then around the owl's eyes, these little circles. Oh yeah, so one of them is attached. You know what, I almost, it, this one's attached. I almost feel like I'm just gonna cut it off because it looks so weird that this is the only one that has an attached circle. The other alternative is I could have made them all attached. I could have made like a little rectangular widget touching a line, then the circles would have would have remained, right? Um, but the amount of weeding that we saved from doing this, you could individually place these circles. They're all right here. We just need to go get them, right? These little, where are they? These little circles right here. This is the one that was attached, as you see. Oh, hold on, let me make this bigger again. Um, give me a second. Uh, it's kind of cool that I can do this, but I'm not um, so good at it. So you're gonna have to bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights so that you can see this a little bit better. Okay, maybe you can see better. I'm not sure. Give me a second. Okay. Um, we could have attached each one of these. Sorry, I think that's actually worse. <laughs> Sorry. So this one was attached, right? So that circle is this one. It was attached to this piece. We could have made all of these circles if we wanted to in design space, or we can pick them out right now. So I'm gonna pick out one just so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, you know what? I don't wanna do that because if I did that, I'm gonna, I still need to take pictures of this. Ah, it's kind of hard to get out the one piece right now without ruining everything, so. So I could do that and hand place them and then do it later. So you can see I pulled it out right there. So we have options, but hand placing it here would still save me more, that, more time than weeding this whole beautiful owl, right? Let me zoom out a little bit. Right? Is that not amazing? I feel like this is such a great hack. Um, all right, let me know. I'm still, you know, I haven't posted anything, so I haven't heard back from anyone, but truly tell me if you've seen this before. Um, I don't know, I'm so excited. And you know, I'm excited that we figured something out, but I'm also excited at just like, this is the kind of stuff that we're doing these days, right? Like just experimenting. So if there's something that you wanna see or try for the first time, let me know. I'll waste my materials <laughs> and we'll call it a learning lesson, a learning opportunity and uh, you know, make it all better. So this is one, this is still, I still love this one. It's not as intricate, but it's such a cool design, so. All right, on my next one, we're actually gonna press this and see how it looks. And um, all right, I will see you guys next time.